So Super Mario Odyssey has me really excited, and part of the reason I'm so ready for this game is that there are quite a few things that are similar to Nintendo's newest hit, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which tells me that Nintendo is opting for a more freedom-oriented open-world gaming experience, which is why these games look somewhat similar in style, because Nintendo knows what we enjoy in our games and is implementing it in multiple titles. Just keep in mind that a lot of this video will be speculation, and things I hope will be in the game based on some evidence from the 3 minute trailer we have. First there is environmental weather effects. So we get a hint that there will be some type of need for Mario to drink the equivalent of a heat potion or something that will help him in a cold environment when we see him in the desert region at night shivering, which reminds me of Breath of the Wild whenever Link's in a cold area and starts to shiver, letting you know he needs to either equip warmer clothes or eat something that will heat him up. Seeing Mario shiver could just be an animation which the player doesn't need to act upon, but it's likely to mean there's some special type of healing system, similar to that in Breath of the Wild. We also see different regions in Odyssey, which is not unusual considering that occurs in every Mario game, but nevertheless it's still a similarity between the two that also points towards a temperature gauge like in Zelda, where Mario might get hot in the desert during the day and cold at night. But the theory I have is that each world will have its own unique requirement. So for example, the desert region would have the weather you need to deal with, changing each day and night and a different region like the city would have some other factor the player would need to take into account besides the standard gameplay. One standard feature in Zelda is the NPCs around the world that you can talk to and interact with. While we have seen this in Mario before, it's not very common, but there were several instances throughout the trailer that gave us a look at possible characters in the world who Mario could talk to, such as the radio and sprinkler looking thing that Mario was dancing with. It's possible these objects come to life and aid Mario throughout his journey, like an NPC would in Breath of the Wild. There were also some tinier creatures around the different worlds who could be NPCs, but reminded me of the Karak plant people in Breath of the Wild who you can find throughout the map and will give you an item which can be used elsewhere. Maybe these guys will also be hiding and will help you if found. There's some more obvious similarities such as the ability to swim, a princess needing saving from an evil creature, and the ability to scale structures by climbing or jumping. There's also this strange line Mario rides, which is similar to Zelda's horse or sand seals, and it will be interesting to find out if Mario can whistle to call his steed whenever he needs it. Right next to the line we can see a chest, so it looks like there will be some sort of loot in the game besides coins, power-ups, or stars. Maybe this loot will just help Mario survive different weather, or maybe there's a deeper level of loot similar to Zelda that we've never seen in a Mario game before. Again, this is just speculation, but it's getting me excited for the release all the same. One final thing I think is worth mentioning is when Mario throws his hat to reach further distances, it reminds me a bit of the paraglider, but maybe it's just me. Anyway, that's going to do it for this quick video. I just wanted to point out some of the similarities between probably two of the biggest games for the Switch this year. I'm becoming more and more excited for Super Mario Odyssey as I realize what elements this game takes from Super Mario 64 as well as Mario games past and puts in one beautiful looking game. The music also sounds pretty good so far too.